Hey guys, I want to talk to you about movies this week, the movies we're obsessed with, that we see a hundred times, that we see our lives in really, and they change us. Here are the five films that have changed me the most. I'm going to try my best not to give spoilers, but if you haven't seen these movies by now, you're kind of been living under a rock, dude. Number one is American Beauty. This film is about suburbia, and I think about the depression that each household holds and hides. No one should see this when they're 12 like I did, but it really resonated with me because I've always been brought up by a very conservative family to uphold middle class values such as what will the neighbors say and okay honey I won't be weird and I just always thought who cares and watching this movie was like yeah really who cares if you look happy to others but you're really not happy inside that's what really matters and now your appearance to the neighborhood and stuff like that so it was like beginning to know what I value as a person. Number two is Memento by Christopher Nolan. This movie was life changing because the fact that they are telling the story backwards but also in the present at the same time, it was really like mind blowing. It changed all the perceptions I had about storytelling. Number three is of course Fight Club. When I watched this movie at the beginning of the realization that all of our hopes and dreams they're not gonna come true. Not in the way that TV and movie have promised us. And so this movie forces me to ask what then? What will my life become and what can I create that no one else has told me I should want or I may want for myself rather than just follow what everybody else wants when I figure out what things will make me happy if none of this other stuff I've been promised is gonna come true. Number four is when I'm in sunshine. I relate to feeling like you're not up to the standards of the pageant you're competing in, to the soul-crushing depression that Frank has at the beginning of the movie, and also the blissful happiness that Olive has the entire movie, because she's a child. You just do what you love and you fuck the rest. Number five is Emily. It's a French movie. You do have to read subtitles if you want to watch this. Sorry. But it's a beautiful movie about a girl who daydreams a lot, so of course it's gonna be about me. And throughout the film we see her fantasies versus what actually happens. And so this movie made me think maybe I should start dreaming so much and start acting more. Because then I can dream those fantasies and make them happen in real life rather than just in my head. And that's all for this week's video. Thank you for watching if you're still here. This is of course a video response to Charlie's a cool like. Well, I'm gonna put his original video in the description of this video. And have a good 420. Happy Easter if that's your thing. See you next time.